The first two Toy Soldiers games were fun representations of playing war, even though your action figures were almost exclusively out of the 1950s. If you're like me and didn't ban your weirder action figures from combat, you'll dig Toy Soldiers War Chest's bigger selection. Whether you're a child of the 1980s who misses their old G.I. Joe and He-Man toys, or a modern gamer who can't get enough Assassin's Creed, this multi-platform action strategy hybrid now has a great roster to complement the improvements on the battlefield. Let's talk about the big name cameos first. The attention to detail on every guest starring toy is to be admired. The stitches and stickers adorning the He-Man heroes match the old school figures, and if you couldn't afford G.I. Joe and Cobra's assortment of military vehicles, you'll find them here. You'll also see many of the famous contemporaries of these classic characters in action as ground troops. When I took in a battle featuring He-Man, I was pleased to see Orko and Man-at-Arms amongst the allies. I also have to commend the developers' inventiveness in tweaking certain classic toys to fit toy soldiers' combat style. He-Man's classic Dragon Walker accessory didn't shoot projectiles before, but once I saw it in action, I certainly wished it did. Another neat tweak is the ability to upgrade certain parts of your armament. While previous toy soldiers had general upgrades to purchase, War Chest allows you to pick individual categories to boost, like range or firepower. Those upgrades often come with toy hacks you'd expect to come from the mind of a 1980s kid. Whether it's adding a laser pointer to your G.I. Joe's gun, or a lighter to add flamethrowing capabilities to a turret. The imagination of action figure loving kids is definitely on display here. While it's plenty of fun taking control of these toys, the real treat in Toy Soldiers is when you've built enough of a combo to use a barrage and deploy your army's leader, which includes the core cameo characters of He-Man, Duke, Cobra Commander, and Ezio. As if controlling one of the three action figure icons wasn't enough, the brief barrage period is punctuated with the appropriate theme song for your favorite toy's cartoon. They're all appropriately overpowered for their quick attack sessions, but if you've played Toy Soldiers Cold War, the G.I. Joe contingent is going to be slightly more up your alley, as the gun-toting icons are more in line with Cold War's Rambo-esque character. Ezio and He-Man are melee-based, which takes a bit of getting used to. They're a bit faster and more resistant to damage, but racking up kills by getting up close is a bit of a change for the Toy Soldiers series. There's a bigger issue than a learning curve, however, as all of the character cameos come at a cost. If you digitally download Toy Soldiers War Chest, you'll have to purchase the Quartet as DLC. If you buy the retail release, the stars are already included. There is a cast of original troops beyond the army men of the first two Toy Soldiers that includes some intriguing contingents of cute teddy bears or mystical tabletop RPG creatures, but Toy Soldiers War Chest may still ultimately feel half empty if you don't pay extra. That's a shame, because it may overshadow the game's fun battles. For more on Toy Soldiers War Chest, keep it tuned to IGN.